So you want to know how to make a powerful mantra or affirmation that actually gets you the results that you want. Perhaps you didn't even know there's a wrong way to make them or a way to make them in which they don't bring you the results that you're desiring. Today I am going to list four reasons as to why your mantra or affirmation may not be working for you, give you the three key components of a powerful mantra or affirmation, and then at the end I'll explain how to create a powerful mantra or affirmation the right way. All right, here we go. Four reasons your mantra or affirmation may not be working. The first is that it is lacking a feeling behind it. If you're just saying, I attract money easily over and over without actually igniting that feeling of how it would feel to attract that money, it's just words. It's just words, all right? Feelings are energy and they attract, okay? So your mantra needs to have feeling behind it and we'll go over how to bring the feeling of the thing you want into your mantra towards the end of the video when I explain how to create a powerful mantra. So the second is it might contain negative words like the word don't or less or can't uh, or won't. For example, a mantra that is something along the lines of I won't eat junk food or I eat less junk food uh, than normal or you know what I mean? Something that contains a negative word. We do not want to bring negativity into our affirmation or mantra that's going to be providing our life positivity, right? So the third reason your mantra or affirmation may not be working for you is because it's not in alignment with what you truly want. What? Why would I be some, saying mantras about what I don't want? Well, for example, right? You are a natural born creative. Your dream is to be a creator of art. Let's just say painting, for example. Your dream is to be a painter. You were pressured into school, a schooling system to become some sort of like business administrator, let's just say. And now your mantra or affirmation is about getting a high paying business job, like something along the lines of obtaining that job, right? That's not what you truly want. So you can't really truly, truly have your desire and feelings behind it, right? So that's a third reason as to why it may not be working. And the fourth and final reason as to why your mantra or affirmation may not be working for you is that it is too surface level. All right. Oftentimes people think they want a lot of money, but they don't really want a lot of money. They want the freedom that a lot of money would give them, right? So their mantra shouldn't necessarily be about money. It should be about creating freedom in their day-to-day -day life. All right. So the three key components of creating a powerful affirmation or mantra, it has these three things in it. Number one, it generates that feeling, right? We already talked about this. Number two, it is present tense. You are speaking of this thing you want as if it is already yours. Because if you keep speaking of it as being something that's gonna happen in the future, well, it's gonna keep making your brain think, oh, it'll happen then, it'll happen later. No, we want it now, right? We need to create a present tense mantra. And the third, component to a powerful mantra? Positive. It has to be positive. You have to create a positive mantra if you want it to bring you positive things in your life. So it can't have those negative words. And we're already here at the end where I explain to you how to create this powerful positive mantra or affirmation. This video is going much quicker than I thought. I thought I'd ramble on a little more. Glad I didn't. I still got you here. Let's create that powerful mantra and or affirmation. So first, what you're going to want to do is get out a pen and paper, all right? Or you could just do this visually. 
like a visualization exercise. Either way, you're gonna visualize, visualize a little bit. So get out a pen and paper and list and write down, I don't care how long it takes you, how your life will be influenced, how your life will be better, how you will be better once what you're creating this mantra about has come true. So if you want to become healthier, right? How will your life be different when you are healthier? Well, you'll have more energy, you'll snack less, you'll have less of a, an emotional tie to food, um, you'll wake up easily, you won't need as much coffee, right? You'll crave healthy things. List out everything, how you walk, how you talk, how you make decisions, how you show up in your life create this beautiful little picture in your mind, this little movie in your head of what your life is going to be like once this affirmation or mantra becomes your current truth, right? That is how you get the feeling behind the mantra or affirmation, by literally imagining as if it has already happened, okay? So you close your eyes and you picture your future self and you list out everything that's different between you and your future self who has succeeded already, right? And that's how you create the feeling behind it. So the second thing, the whole present tenseness. A great way to create present tense mantras are to use words like I am. So if we're sticking with the same example of wanting to be healthier, I am healthy could be the simplest mantra in the world. And then once you say that word healthy, because you had done your visualization exercise and because you had written down all the ways in which uh, your life will be different once you are healthy and one, because you have written down all the ways in which you will behave when you are a healthy person, your brain is already triggered, right? It knows what to do when you say, I am healthy, because that word healthy is tied to the exercise we just did, right? Or um, another way to make mantras present tense is to have the word every day, because every day includes today, right? Every day I make healthy choices. And it doesn't have to be that short, I'm just making, um, examples here, quick examples. And another way to make it a present tense mantra is to say blank is my normal. Healthy eating is my normal, right? Healthy living is my normal. So I am statements, statements with the word every day or blank is my normal. Confidence is my normal. Um, Energy is my normal, if you want to boost your energy, that's what your mantra is about. Anyways, alright, last part of this video here, you have to make it positive. You cannot use words like can't or less or don't or won't or little or you know what I mean? And I'll give you an example, sticking with the same example, we've been talking about health. Your mantra isn't going to be, every day I eat less junk food less junk food. What, where does your mind go? Your mind automatically goes to junk food. It doesn't go to health, right? All right. So number one, visualize the outcome. How will your life and yourself be different once you have succeeded in creating what you are trying to create in your life? Number two, keep it present tense. I am statements. Blank is my normal, everyday statements. And three, keep it positive. So what's your new mantra? What is it gonna be? Comment it down below. I would love to see it. I would love to hear it. Um, once I learned this, my mantra and affirmation game was off the chain, <laughs> let me say. All right, this stuff is powerful. Your mind is powerful. The way you word things is powerful. I hope you have learned how to create a powerful and positive mantra and or affirmation. Thank you so much.